How's it going, everybody? This is Dr. Hefe playing The Walking Dead. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Here's our badass protagonist, Dr. Lee Everett. Duck, you are looking hella foolish over there. And it looks like we're just going to be mowing down some zombies. That's awesome. All right, let's get this show started. Beastly on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid as fuck you! <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> mm. Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. So I'm sure that with all those ominous portents, everything's going to be A-OK -okay for Dr. Lee. Why not? Let's see, how much time has passed between episode 2 and 3? Hmm, doesn't, doesn't look too bad. We got a gun still. Kenny's still alive. Walking through this urban setting. Looks like this is our lucky day. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Let's yeah, be positive today. We deserve it after last time. Oh, what's that mean? Damn, that is a shitty way of boarding up that window. Like, those planks aren't even connected. You just punch through that with one hit. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Split up? Nah, no, man, Kenny's my homie. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. That's right. Whoa, what the hell? Helicopter? That's cool. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. When, when the heck did a helicopter crash into the pharmacy? Did I miss that the first time I played? Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Nice one, Lee. Are the windows? No. Let's just climb this ladder. Gonna get tetanus from a broken ladder. Scraping. Ah. <laughs> Good job, Lee. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Yeah, just go find a stepladder or something. Barrel. Push the Jeep. Oh, look at the winch. Hmm. Looks like it still works. What, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? <laughs> uh yeah, we killed her dad. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. <laughs> uh that was that was really disturbing though. 
kind of glad that worked. Sure. Glad you know what you're doing, Dr. Lee, because I have no idea what the hell you're up to. You're going to winch the car out of the wreckage? Okay. Okay, I got you. Then climb up on top of the car. Okay. Okay, I got you. A winch control. Where's the winch control? All right, whatever. Screw it. Let's use this winch control. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. What, Clementine? I hope not. She's uh, hope she's my best. She's my girl. Oh man. Come on, we had to loot him for food and stuff. It was the only way to go. <laughs> Leg was action. About that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Man, fuck Duck. He's he's a little crazy boy. He'll get He'll over get it. Get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. He's a tough kid, you know. Like I said, not much phases him, but it's starting to add up. Farm, the dairy. Yeah. I need to get to the coast. Because Duck is the cause of all of our problems. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. <laughs> Come on, Kenny. You okay, Kenny? Jesus. Crazy Florida bastard. Okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. Oh yeah, you Lucky got shot. Any worse. You could have. <laughs> oh what? Somebody's still alive in this crazy town? Somebody help me! Oh god! Oh god! What the? What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Oh yeah, Lee! Headshot. You gotta help her. Girl, we have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. You're the we doctor. Do something. Oh, she's fucked. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kenny, you're way too sadistic, bro. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. All right, let's get this headshot on. Oh, she's pretty good at fighting him off. Oh, oh, where's she going? Oh, she's definitely screwed. All right, headshot. He's a badass, yo. God damn it. Look, it's only like seven or eight walkers. I kill this shit in Left 4 Dead all the time. Let's move. Yeah, come on, Kenny, stop being so weak. <laughs> he just looked vaguely or mildly scared running away from those walkers. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Wow, there's nothing on these racks. All right, grab that shit. All, oh, it's like a little uh, mini game, just grabbing the shit. Oh yeah, th this is some good stuff right here too. You get some bandages, why not? Uh oh, they're gonna come for us. Grab it, come on Lee! Oh, they're coming through. Fuck, incoming! Come on, Lee! 
Yeah, that's my that's my mad skills right there. Point and click skills. Just like a first person shooter. Oh, grab that. Okay, let's get over here. <laughs> oh, freaking Lee. You're such a joker. Come on, Kenny. Just shoot them little bastards. Yeah, there you go. Where's Carly? She would headshot all these bitches. I gotta run. A running sequence. Oh, what the? Oh! Freaking helicopter pilot! Oh, come on, come on. Punch that bitch. There you go. How did you crash into this freaking store? You crazy bastard. That must have meant there were still people flying helicopters around. Even before, before we even went to the motel, I did not think the army had that much skills. But that should mean that there's people who are survivors out here, like an army, an army base. Oh, that doesn't look good. Hella arrows everywhere. I don't know if that's the most protected position to be in. Just sitting on a chair up there. You could definitely, I could definitely hit that guy in chivalry. In the door, and I put him on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. Oh, Kenny. You're such a joker. So, what did you get? You got a lot of shit, bitch. A lot of stuff. Nothing. We're fine, That'd be fun. by the way. That'd be hella funny. Nice work. This'll keep us going. Yeah, you better be happy about my point-and-click we'll skills. The winter, here. the winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you two after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. Oh, I know we're going to do whatever's graffiti. best for the Those kids, but I want to hear this argument go on just a little bit longer. To dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. Yeah, me, Dr. Lee. I'm a doctor, Don't bitch. With me either. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. Let's get some food. What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything. Oh, yeah. Looting that shit. That was awesome. You to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace. Of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. Oh, you're gonna call me out, huh? Some girl came screaming Fucking out of Kenny, the Fucking Kenny, huh? She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. Well, I still grabbed all that shit. He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? Yeah, because come on, I'm a doctor, bitch. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look. Oh, uh, Carly, thanks for, thanks for it's not having my back. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. 
It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Oh now, shit! Everybody, get out! Damn, that girl's going crazy. Um, yeah, Kenny, way to not have my back, you bitch. Happy Kenny. My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Yeah, we need to have a town. Like, and have a governor. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Oh, thanks, Carly. Thanks. You and me. It's probably worth following Should hook up. up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Oh, I got a minute right now. Don't walk away. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that little turn back right there. Uh, the Dr. Lee, you've been doing good. Doing good. All right, this should wrap it up for the first part of episode three. Yeah, do a little dance, Dr. Lee. You're doing good, my man. Doing good. All right, well, nothing too crazy has happened. I mean, just had to kill one innocent civilian because she was getting bit by walkers. You know, nothing too crazy so far. So, till next time, this has been Dr. Hefe. And remember, take care of yourself.